everyone. Welcome to another ASC Labs video review. I'm Aaron Chance, Editor-in-Chief of ASC Publishing. Today we'll be looking at the Arctic Cooling C1 Mobile Charger. This features a solar panel on it and you can charge it up by a computer or any USB port and it offers USB charging. This is review ID 11848 and you can check out this and all our other reviews by going to www.ascelabs.com. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed of all our other video reviews. And please leave us some feedback. We enjoy comments and we can take criticism, so lay it on us. Now let me actually read you a bit of the packaging here. This is the packaging. Well, it was, it was in, you know, a plastic case that I had to rip apart, so this is the paper part of it. I just want you to be aware that the packaging says that it's... 4,440 milliwatt hours. Now normally when people give you battery sizes they don't use watts, they use milliamp hours you know for the power source, how much power it actually contains. Um, but this one gives you milliwatt hours so that's very strange actually. So uh, if we actually can do the conversion this provides 5.5 volts over the USB charging port so that probably means that it's got an 810 milliamp hour battery in it. So it's probably not going to be a lot to charge, you know, high drain devices like my BlackBerry Storm or some other devices, but it should get you enough charge to actually, you know, get you off if it's fully depleted. And it'll allow you to make some calls or whatever. And it will charge it enough. 810 milliamp hours should be enough for the rest of the day or, you know, at least part of the day, maybe at six hours or so. So let's see what Arctic packages along with the C1 Mobile. You actually get a strange looking USB cable with interchangeable tips on the end. These are for cell phones, I think Nokia and Sony or something like that. And this one's a regular mini USB connection. So if you plug this in, you have a USB to mini USB regular cable for charging. Um, unfortunately, they don't give you a micro USB cable, so if you have a Blackberry Storm or any other new you know, smartphone, you're not going to be able to actually use this kit to charge your cell phone, you're going to need to supply your own micro USB cable. This is the C1 mobile charger. As you can see, it's pretty thin, and it's very light actually, it's very light. And it has a little hook on the back here so you can leave it resting out so it can get a better angle at the sun when it's charging up through the sun. But you can actually charge it through the mini USB port just by plugging this in here and plugging the USB into the computer or any other power source. And to charge a device, you would use the regular USB port right here, this way with the cable, and then plug it into the device. I'll show you in a second. The device actually has three LEDs down here. Two are for indicating charging status from the solar panel or the regular USB charging. And if you actually plug a device in, which I'll show you in a second, it'll show you how much charge is left on the device itself. If you saw the text portion of the view, you could see that most of the shots have one of the LEDs lit up. That's because I was taking the shots in some fluorescent lighting and the unit seems to like fluorescent lighting. It's not going to charge as fast as if you take it outside even in indirect lighting in sunlight, but it'll show you that it's charging. So if you leave this outside for like 12 hours in full sun, it should charge it up. Even in indirect lighting, it should charge it up a little. And you can use this while plugged into your device that you're charging and it'll charge up with solar too, so it doesn't shut off, even though it won't tell you that it's charging up through solar. So let's see how the C1 Mobile works. I'm going to reach over here, take out my BlackBerry Storm, and I need a micro USB cable, which I happen to have right here. So, take it out, and plug the micro USB connection into the BlackBerry Storm. Plug the USB connection right into the C1 mobile, and you can see that there's three LEDs lit up, meaning that it's pretty much full power. The LEDs will go down as the power drains from the unit. And you can see, let me see, here, I'll zoom in for you, that you can see that the BlackBerry is charging. I'll just let it hang there for a little bit, and you can see the BlackBerry is charging. Great. And that's pretty much how you use it. And you can leave this in the car, in the dashboard, where it gets full sun and you can have a portable power source. Interestingly enough, since the battery is actually pretty tiny, it didn't charge my BlackBerry Storm up all the way, but it did give enough power to last pretty much the entire rest of the day. And I charged it up at around 10 a.m., so it lasted till you know, the rest of the day, which was pretty much into the night, around midnight. 
So even if you can't charge your battery fully, this will provide you enough power to get through the time that you need it. In fact, this is a good emergency charger to keeping your car on the dashboard where it gets full sunlight. And it's pretty inexpensive too. The Arctic Cooling C1 Mobile actually has an MSRP of $24.60, which is a really strange price, so we figured it's $25 MSRP. Retail price should be a little cheaper or around there, and for that price, this mobile charger is a great buy. If you compare it to other things that we reviewed, this is about a third of the price or, you know, half to a third of the price cheaper than those. And this actually works, and it has a solar panel on it, so you can leave it in the car or any place where you get really good sunlight, even just in direct light, because it'll charge it up also there. Now, if you do leave it in direct sunlight, it'll take about 12 hours to charge, and it has to be direct sunlight. So you have to leave it up on its face like this the entire day. If you have it at a good angle, it should be, you know, 12 hours. Anything less, it'll take a really long time or it just won't even charge up at all. But if you have this outside with your cell phone, you can charge it up directly through there. One other thing, though, if you completely drain this device and you take it out in the sun to recharge, the LED for charging to show you that it's charging on solar won't actually work for like 10 or 20 seconds while it charges up the internal, I guess it's a capacitor that it's putting for the LED, so that's just something to note. It is charging, so just leave it out in the sun, it'll charge up itself. All in all though, for an MSRP of $25, this is a great buy. AC Labs recommends this product. If you need a portable battery charger that has a solar panel on it, this is a great thing to get. $25 MSRP, retail should be a little cheaper, so if you need one, Arctic Cooling makes a really, really handy unit. Too bad they didn't include micro USB cables with it though. AAC Labs would like to thank Arctic Cooling for sending this product for review. You can check out links on AAC Labs to purchase this product when it's available from retailers. For AAC Labs, I'm Aaron Schatz. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check out AACLabs.com for our other reviews and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed of our video reviews when we post them. We post them pretty often as with our text reviews and they are complimentary. You should read our text reviews and watch the videos to really see how a product works, like this one for instance. And please be sure to leave us some feedback. We welcome criticism. We enjoy criticism. We could take it. Hit us with it. Thanks for watching.